two boiled eggs, two different ways of removing shells. <laughs> this is the first one I removed. And then in the second one, I got like 20 times better for some reason. Well, that was a complete disaster. They're all sticking together. Let's try this thing. So, um, yeah, happy Lunar New Year. Okay, that's enough. Okay. I have no garlic. I don't have garlic. Why? 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 Give it a test. It's a little burnt, actually. Whoa, so hot. It has taste. But it tastes overnight and overcooked. Okay, so here's the plan. I have broccoli here and beans. I'm gonna cook. I think I'm gonna cook. Okay, broccoli, I, I already had it, but it's whatever. Main dish here is gonna be beans. And I'm gonna cook it. I, I can't find garlic. Again, I don't know where to find garlic. But there's no garlic here. Definitely not garlic. Wash them. I forgot to wash the broccoli last time I cooked it. Um, also, I put a little butter for extra, extra flavor. Salt. Okay. Still seem really hard. The bean is making noises. I don't like it. Oh, bean test. Very oily, lacks taste, but it's edible. Can't complain. So, um, I couldn't make French toast. There's no bread. There's no bread. Other than some wheat bread in the fridge. Which is not suitable for French toast. So I made a tomato egg omelette. <laughs> I found some bread in the fridge. It's probably from two weeks ago. But as long as there's no mold, I can eat it.
right. That's a lot of egg white. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it's popping so hard. I've steamed it first, because now this side is not crispy anymore. Uh, Alright. Yep, I should have steamed it first. A little burnt, but okay. Try uh, this one. This is Trader Joe's gyoza dipping sauce, by the way, found in the fridge. Okay, this is it, folks. The garlic. I have a garlic. Yes. Yes. To, like, do this. Like, get a clove out. Ooh. Right. So I got a clove out, and... Do I want to do it here or? Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's do it here. All right. So I think I have to put it under a knife and squash it, except this knife is not wide enough. There we go. Here we go. This is what I'm asking for. It smells so good. Oh my god. Here we go. Garlic fried broccoli. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What a day to be alive. All right, I used a bigger knife, sliced up the potatoes, hands are still here. Boiling the water right now, might as well put it in. Whole potato sliced up, here we go. Ooh. As you can see the texture. Perfect. For enough time or the heat is not high enough, but it doesn't have the browning effect I wanted it to. And I was in a hurry because I was hungry. All right. Actually, really soft. Really soft and tender. All right, let's cook lunch. I just had a one hour WhatsApp FaceTime call with Potter. And originally I was reluctant about it, but you know what? It's whatever. And he's nice. We had a good chat and it went on for one hour. Now I'm gonna cook myself lunch. Seriously, really? Okay, so I'm cooking mushrooms for the first time in my life, I think. Pour one out, chopped it up, and then fry it in oil and garlic. Don't know how is it gonna taste, but if it's edible, it's edible. Oh, maybe I should have washed it first. Shit.
Let's um, let's try the mushroom first. Start the show. I never cooked mushroom in my life before. Cheers. It's fine. The consist, the consist, the texture is fine, but just not a lot of taste, really. All right. So as you can see, this is an edible. This is basically rock. So I made myself another one. Who cares? It's my last night. I don't know how much is enough, so I'm just gonna pour. I have no idea, honestly. Okay, let's say this is um how many meals? Okay, let's say until like here. Okay, that's more than enough. Oh, uh, I can't even touch this side because it's gonna be super hot. There's no plastic handle. So I, I only have a spoon here. Jesus, there's something better. I can't find anything. There's, uh, ah. But um, yeah, let's begin the cooking of the spaghetti. Okay, cheers. It's sour. The sauce is sour, a bit sour. No meat at all. All right, I use this knife to open up this bag, finally, and I found this knife in this drawer. I cut it off, and chicken, raw chicken is a little bit tougher than I had expected, I have to admit, but it looks good, it looks nice. Put it in a Ziploc bag, I can reason. Okay, that should be enough. Um, all right, I added some oil already. Let's turn it on. There we go. And then I'll just place the chicken there. Uh, maybe I'm doing something really wrong. I don't know. But as long as it's edible, it's fine. All right, let's yam the rest of the seasoning. All right. And three, two, one, boom. Nice. Yes, chicken, woohoo. Okay, I took it back out because I completely forgot about this. So I found this in that drawer, and I realized that if I put such a thick piece of meat here, there's a chance that I may cook it thoroughly on the outside and completely raw on the inside. So I need to smash it with this thing. Sheesh. Thank God I remembered. Rah. This is just one of the moment, one of those moments where it's not like, if it's edible, it's good. Because raw chicken is edible, but if I get salmonella, I may die. I'm gonna open the chicken. I think it looks pretty good. You know what? It looks fine. Moment of truth. This is the chicken. This is the first time in my life I've cooked chicken. Can't believe it. I've never had the proper training back in Hong Kong because I... It's my fault. Because I was lazy when I was in Hong Kong. Cheers. All right, is it raw? I don't know if it's secretly raw or not, but to me it tastes fine. Okay, I opened a small opening with a pair of small scissors. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Ooh, it's heavy. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna wash it maybe once or twice. Put the pot here. All right, all right, gotta use my own hands for this. All right. Like this, wash off the extra starch. You know, tens of, oh, there's still an ant corpse there. You can't see it, but that is an ant corpse. The finger trick, but this is such a big pot, it doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, still a little excess starch, it's fine. Oh, and uh, one to one, does it look like one to one? Just a little more. Well, my grandma also taught me how to cook rice with a pot. The major difference between a pot and a rice cooker is that in a rice cooker, rice is cooked evenly, but in a pot, it is from the bottom to the top. A rice cooker is designed so that the heat spreads throughout. Gotta constantly stir to prevent it from sticking to the bottom and also prevent it from burning, which I think I've already failed. There's a little sticking in the bottom. I can feel it. Wow, one question to you. So, at 
I thought there's a washi washing machine. Oh. Okay, so that's the German girl. And uh, this is my rice, and it's wet and sticky. It's not coming out. Come on. Let's try the rice. It's a little wetter than I would have loved, and a lot stuck to the to the pot over there. So, not very great. It needs more practice. But it's only my second time. All right. Yeah, so wet. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's try the onions. Let's not break the structure. Hmm. The garlic definitely helped. All right. Here we go. My Airbnb account. Um, yeah, but if you would put here for it, maybe you film this for my mom. <laughs> then you're a cook right now. <laughs> The skin stuck on the pan. I don't know why, but anyways, here's the fish. Here's the fish. Looking nice. Looking real nice. Ah. Finger test, doesn't matter at this point. And then I have never used, I've used a rice cooker once in my life. This is the second time I've used a rice cooker. And this is the fourth time I've cooked rice in my life. So I don't know, man, I don't know how it works. Um, I'm gonna do this, lock it, Oop. and then right here it says rice, and then Go. Is it doing anything? Hmm. It's plugged. There's electricity. I have no idea. I don't. I have no idea if it's working or not. Should I check? Can I check? I have no idea. I can't tell. It's not working. What the heck? That's not enough rice. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> My first time cooking pork. Let's do it. Hopefully I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, so this is weird. It's bleeding a lot. Like, I'm only cooking one side with low heat and it's bleeding a lot. The bones are bleeding. What the fuck? The garlic is vegetatively propagating. It's performing mitosis on me. First time pork, pork chop. All right, just spoke to Howard, the hospital dude. He left for dinner. Cooking the pork chop still. Almost forgot to season this. And I moved this, this pot over here. I know there's some residual spaghetti, but. All right, it's 8.04, lunch is served. Salad dressing is right there, so, you know. Fried the fish. Um, I forgot to film the process of frying the fish, but I was busy 
microwaving the spaghetti and, and setting up this, setting up that. Um, so I forgot to record it and it was a very fast process. I mean, the fish cooks really fast. So um, this is uh, Taliapa, Taliapa, and uh, let's try it out. Maybe I've never tried this fish before in my life. Also at the same time, this is the first time cooking this in my life. So uh, lots of firsts, first for everything, huh? Okay. It has a very strong fishy smell, but A, I don't care because I'm broke, so I can't choose what smells better and what doesn't. B, as long as it's seasoned better, maybe with some lemon sauce, uh, lemon juice, it would probably taste better. Okay, so I washed this thing a little bit. There's dust on top. There's dust on top because I guess not a lot of people had used it and has not been used for a while. I've never used this before in my life actually. So I filled this up with water. I think it goes here. Just tap water, just this one. I'm reacting to water. So for the last, for the last 18 days, I've been drinking bottled water, mineral water. And actually the first, for the first few weeks I've been in LA, I also mostly drink bottled water. But now, let's see what's the difference. You know, the difference is really difficult to notice, but there is a slight difference. I think it's the, the aftertaste. A little more metallic just a little all right here we go that's my dinner um time now is 8 27 i know it's a little late but who cares chicken thighs that's my last piece i tried to make the mm. let's try the tortellini first time First time ever. Here we go. First time cooking beef, looking strange. I don't know if this is like bad beef or not, but I don't care at this point. Food is food. All right. Tidbit. Here we go. It's very chewy, not a lot of taste. It's fine, actually. It's fine. It's no steak, but um, yeah, you know, it's cheap, lean beef. So what do you expect? It's fine, I like beef. All right, it's 7.48. This is my first time cooking bell pepper and my first time putting cheese on tortellini. All right, let's try the bell pepper. This is so much bell pepper. It's, it's hilarious. It's not that cooked. I'm just, I just heated it up. Add some oil and salt. All right. Nice. All right, it's 11.44. I'm gonna swallow these like in two minutes. Uh, Jonah has arrived, and um, I don't want to use my chopsticks now, so uh, fuck it. Three hundred and fifty calories. Fucking kill me. Oh. 
can't find a meat hammer, so uh, <laughs> let's go, let's go, boys. All right, this is what no pan to a, no pan does to a motherfucker. It's 5:44. I don't have a fork. All the fork is in the dishwasher, so I'm gonna use a spoon. Lettuce. Here we go. I, d I forgot to buy salad sauce. Yep, definitely too much sauce. God damn it. I don't know what to do. First time in four months. <laughs> 